This morning in beautiful you from catwalk to coffee talk, we are taking the makeup looks straight off the runway and showing you how to incorporate them into your everyday look this fall. Now joining us is makeup artist Alicia Silva to show us how to achieve these trends. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Thanks for being here. This is something that, that you were what? Born doing. You love makeup. Literally obsessed with makeup every single day. Just shopping and checking out the newest trends and trying new colors. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. It, it's exciting for a lot of women too because it's kind of like a you know blank canvas, mm -hmm. your face. So I know we like to try and play around with different looks, but sometimes it's really hard to achieve these runway styles at home. It is, it can be a little difficult and also it doesn't always necessarily fit into where you're going. You know, mm -hmm. you're not gonna wear a huge blown out smoky eye to work or like a huge you know, glitter liner to Whole Foods. I mean, sometimes I do, but I know <laughs> most women don't. Yeah, it's not the everyday look. So you're going <laughs> right. to take us through three different looks and yeah. how we can uh, make them work mm -hmm. for our everyday life. Well, let's Definitely. start with our first model. Who do we have here? So this is the gorgeous Olivia. And so what we did with her was really simple. It's kind of a minimalist look. What we saw a lot on the runway was these gorgeous plum colors mm -hmm. and kind of a monochromatic look. So just to make it easier, we used products that you already have at home. Yep. We did the skin nice and glowy and dewy, but what we did was used lipstick this is a palette with a bunch of different colors, but we use lipsticks huh. on her eyes and lips, and now we're gonna put some on her cheeks. Could you close your eyes for me for just a moment? That's lipstick? It, yeah. Wow, yeah, I'm we, impressed. You don't fit, you know, it says lip right in the name. Right. You think that's where I need to apply it. <laughs> no, yeah, it's super convenient, easy mm -hmm. for travel, so I'm just taking a nice little synthetic brush here. I'm gonna tap off the excess so there's not too much on her skin. Great And tip. then we're just gonna do little swirls to buff it in and mix it right in mm -hmm. with the other products that we have on our face. Is that how you suggest that you put anything on, whether it's an eyeshadow or something little, and then maybe layer that if you're looking, exactly. don't do a big clump at once. It's much easier to add more on than mm -hmm. to try to remove it. So start off light and build up the color. Looks great. Fantastic. Beautiful? All right, let's discuss our next look so here. What are we trying to achieve? lady is Vanetta. And what we did with her was kind of similar, just a glowy, glowy skin, mm -hmm. little contour, and a little bit more brighter color on the lips. So the other thing about sh trying trends is people feel like they need to go out and buy all the latest products, and it can be costly. It's not in everyone's budget. Yeah. So what we did with her is we mixed a little bit of the strobe cream in with her foundation. So this will give your foundation that dewiness already added so you don't need to go out and buy another one. Wow. And so the other cool thing about this is that you can use it on top of the makeup as well. So you just take a little bit, put it on your hand. And what was this called again? It's called strobe cream. Strobe cream. Here, feel it. It is beautiful. And look at the shine you get from that. Oh, very smooth. Beautiful. It's shiny, but it doesn't look, you know, oily. It's not too much. Or very nice. Right, so what you can do is literally put that right. on the back of your hand, mm -hmm. stamp it, and then you can go ahead and literally stamp it on the cheek. What? You know what? And just tap it in. You don't always need some, some brush or some sponge. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes the fingers are the best tools. They warm up yes. the product and make it really blendable so it sinks right into the skin. Beautiful. And last but not least, you mentioned a smoky eye yes. earlier. Um, and, and she has it, but very tastefully done. Very. So on the runway, you're seeing like really big up to the brow, under oh, the yeah. eye. Oh yeah, sometimes looking like a raccoon. They really <laughs> exactly. go for it. Yeah, there's a trend going on right now. It's kind of like the morning after kind of look like you woke up in a little bit of makeup so mm -hmm. we wanted to do that but just tone it down a little bit so what we did was we started with some bronzer and so we went ahead and just applied a nice neutral bronzer on the face but then we also used a smaller brush and put it into the crease of the eye. Mm -hmm. So that gives you a nice little warmness there. And then you just use your regular eyeliner, smudge it on, and rub it in with your finger to blend it out. Super, super easy. And when we're applying something like bronzer, it's not an all no. over thing. I know everyone wants a tan all year round, right, but right. where should we be applying this? So you want to kind of think of it as a three, right? So we're going to go over here, into the cheek, and then under. And then whatever's left over on the brush, you can blend so there's not any harsh lines, but you yes. definitely, it's not an all over. We're trying to avoid being an Oompa Loompa. Oh yeah, nobody right? wants that look, <laughs> but you definitely want these. Thank you so much. The Thank ladies, you, you look lovely for a link to the products that we used here so you can achieve the looks at home. Head on over to roadshow.com.